What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Uh, probably from the title that uh, you guys know I am picking up another car. Uh, I was looking, actually I've been, I always look for cars, but this car literally fell into my lap because it is a family member's car and it is, I'm pretty sure it's a damn hoopty. I'm pretty sure interior is all messed up. I know the head gasket is blown. And so we're gonna go take a quick look at it. It's like 20 minutes away from here. Uh, go pick it up. Um, there's no way you can drive it home because it does have a blown head gasket, which is a big reason why I wanna pick it up and I'll explain it later. But we're gonna get a tow truck to, to tow it home. We're called AAA since I pay for AAA annually and I never used it, so. Uh, Knock on wood. What? Knock on wood. Knock on wood. And yeah, we're gonna go look at the car, bring it back home and we'll talk about it some more. So let's go look at it right now. All right, well, this is a car right here. It's another IS300. I mean, it's not terrible shaped. It looks like it was hit here. Like the trunk is not aligned properly or something, but otherwise it's a clean title. Um, but uh, this could be my daily. If any worst case scenario, I just parted out. Interior is pretty dirty, but I'll show you some more once we get to the house and we clean up the interior because it's pretty, pretty ugly, but it's gonna take two hours for the tow truck to come. So let's just wait for that. All right, tow truck guy is finally here. I thought it was gonna be a flatbed, but I mean, this will have to do. All right, had to meet it at the house. Time to go, get out of here. Been here for an hour. IS 300 just pulled up. Time to unload the car. All right, so here is the IS 300 officially at my house now. Drift car, new project car. I guess you can say I'm officially the IS 300 guy. I never thought I'd have two of the same cars, but uh, it does run, it does drive. I pulled it up here. Um, interior is disgusting. Take a look. Just look at that mess right here. Um, yeah, it's a tan interior, not the most desirable interior, but this is going to be a long cleaning project. Rear door cards are actually pretty clean, surprisingly. Um, looks like it got hit. And this is not lining up, let's see. Okay, well, I haven't even opened the trunk yet. Let's see what's in there. Comes with one key. Okay, that don't even open. Oh God. A frying pan? Like a food pan? Ugh. When you have a relative that works in the food truck. Uh, that's my aunt works in the food truck and... Oh my god, there's oil on the pan! It's a bunch of oily shit. Yeah, this, is, this car is disgusting. It, it definitely can use the cleanup, but... It runs and drives. Body is clean. I mean, besides the bumper here, it's cracked because I got hit. Um, quarter panel or... Fender, it looks like they jacked it up from right here. Um, doors are clean, quarter panels are clean, everything's clean. Um, so, yeah, I'm gonna spend my first few weeks probably cleaning this thing to make sure it's clean enough for me to like actually enjoy sitting in the car because it is disgusting in here. Look at that, Jesus Christ. But it runs and drives, so look at this. It starts. I don't see any smoke coming out. I was told it was a blown head gasket. It's running. Runs fine. 219. I thought why uh bought mine right now. But no lights on, surprisingly. Um gonna have to swap this out. I'm gonna try to keep it as pure as I can, keep the tan interior, but look for some new ones. So let's talk about the final plans for this. All right, so let me tell you about my plans for this car. So let me tell you about the plans for this car right here. Uh, honestly, I picked it up because it was such a good deal. It's still a clean title. Um, it is 200,000 miles, but I was actually looking for another daily, even though I do have my 2019 Corolla, my Sequoia eats too much gas. I started this new job where I'm gonna have to commute every day back in the office and Thought I wanted something a little more gas friendly and who, what would be better than owning another IS300? Another daily, 
drift car, interchangeable parts. I know the car like the back of my hand. So, and I get to learn about, you know, different things about the IS300 that I don't get to do with this one. So it has a blown head gasket, which, um, you know, might seem intimidating, but it's my first time ever doing one. So I think it's going to be a really fun project to break down the ice 300, take off the head to the head gasket. So that way in the future, when I am building my own like boosted drift car, I know the car inside and out and all the wires and all the bolts. I know how the valve works now take apart the head, take out the engine. And so, <sighs> It really is, was the perfect opportunity for me to just pick it up. It was so cheap. Let's see, it was cheaper than my set of wheels here. Cheaper than a set of four tires to pick up this car. It, it's granted, it's dirty as hell. It's not in the best condition and uh, it needs a lot of work, but this is probably around, I'd say about three months project and so. All right, I don't know where I left off. The camera died, but um, the plans with the car is to first, this week and next week, get the car cleaned. I want to be comfortable sitting in there. I want it to be nice and fresh and not as disgusting as it is right now. So I think this week I'm going to go rent the rug doctor, go get some gloves, go get some all the cleaning necessary stuff to get all that grime out, clean the shit out of that car, spray the trunk down and uh, yeah, get ready to the, get that part out of the way. And that way I uh, put the car back in the garage and I'll put it on jack sands and then I'm going to start ordering parts for the car. So most likely I won't be ordering parts right away because I have to focus on my drift car right now, which I'll be taking to ABS in about two weeks. So stay tuned for that one. I got parts for that car coming too as well before that. So I got, I got crunch time to get that car running healthy and strong. And so uh, that's gonna be my priority for now. And uh, I'll keep ordering parts for the car. I'm looking for, you know, uh, I'm gonna order a brand new head gaskets, time belt, seals, cam seal, front seal, get it all resealed. So that way the motor is healthy and fresh. I need a new radiator. So I'm gonna flush the radiator in that car and put in uh, some coolant, a red coolant. And then interior, I wanna look for a new front seat. So if anybody has some tan interior, hit me up. Cause uh, for now, I'm gonna leave the seats out cause they are disgusting and I don't like them. And I'm looking for fresh tan seats. I wanna keep it pure with the tan interior. And yeah, just keep it as a, you know, as stock as it can be. So once I know the car is running healthy, the motor runs good, I'm gonna drain all the fluids, engine transmission. Uh, I mean, obviously the coolant has to be done. Um, once that's good, now I'm gonna focus on suspension. I'm gonna get all new uh, replacement arms to stock arms, so stock front control arms, lower ball joint, inner outer tie rods, um, the rears, I probably would only get new lower control arm. Maybe I'll have to look at the rear first before I want to mess with it. But the front for sure, the caster arm, the lower control arm, the upper control arm, the inner and outer tie rods. So that's all going to be fresh. And then I will get a cheap, of a set of cheap coilovers. Um, I haven't decided yet. Um, I have some friends that might have some laying around, which would be a perfect opportunity. So I'm looking for something sub $400 because this is literally a budget daily car. Um, it's also a backup car from my other IS300 just because slightest chance knock on wood something were happen to have a spare chassis to transfer everything I need to um, so it's kind of a win-win situation to have a perfect daily solvable car spare chassis and if I wanted to um, I can start turboing you know once I get all the cars I wanted once I get the Tundra I want and the Corolla is back to mind that I can daily maybe who knows I might boost um, one of the IS 300s now that I have a spare one to, to keep drifting and another one to just build so a lot of opportunities with this with this car which is why I did pick it up and I got it for dirt cheap I got it from family so there was no excuse not to get it um, it's just a lot of work needs to go into it and it's another project for the channel and I saw the poll I know you guys like the building stuff so this is going to be a separate it's not a drift build this is going to be a, a restoration almost restoration yeah this is going to be a restoration almost so I look forward to this build it's a IS300 restoration slash you know a cool daily build so thank you guys for watching I hope you're excited as much as I am it's a hot ass day today so make sure you stay hydrated and look forward to more videos coming soon I'm going to be hopefully posting a little more consistently just because I got stuff coming up. So thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.